the feudal recipe of the bounty hunter was first find the lair, steal the wolves and then kill them to receive the reward for destruction given by the ruler of the state for each head of the slain wolf. It used to be a profitable business. Thanks to the sloppiness of the hunter, two wolves managed to escape, hidden, not far from the den. Initially, the wolf was one of the most widespread carnivores in Northern Hemisphere, because its great adaptability allowed it to colonize all habitats in all areas. Then how could its geographical spread be so diminished? If a wolf could speak, it could tell us a long and terrible story. The story of destruction, the story of his killing, the attempt of his extermination. It all started in Middle Ages with the growing influence of Christianity. When man's relationship to the wolf becomes unusually dramatic and rational, then begins the great undertaking of the gradual and systematic destruction of one animal species. Slaughter made possible by anyone encouraged by a lord or a king. The massacre was carried out with help of a wolf hunt, an institution established with only one goal, to wipe out the wolf forever. Some countries even have phrases for this act, for example in Balkan it was called Haika, Haika Navuka. Cruel and indiscriminate food traps, snares, holes and pits for wolves of all kinds, ambushes with a rifle, a dead or a living animal to attract the wolf, bait poison with deadly powder and later strychnine. Human beings have proven that they probably possess the most vivid imagination when it comes to extermination. The wolf, an evil, ungodly and cruel animal, is a devilish creature. The wolf is the opponent of shepherds of God's people. Christ, the lamb who takes away the sins of the world. In this way, man experienced the wolf. The wolf was no longer a wolf but a satanic creature, a servant of this honorable one in the fight against the Lamb of God, the avatar of evil and against purity and good. Fate made the wolf a demon and it was the duty of every good Christian to destroy it. This is how this unclean and evil beast disappeared from the fields and the forests. Will the wolf ever return?